Whoa. Skeleton with boots. Cool. Alright. Hi. On top of the nun. And this is Diablo Drops' this plugin tutorial. First off, what are Diablo Drops? Diablo Drops are these items here. They can have ridiculous names like Victorious Measure, Steel Thunder, Terrain Puncturing, or really weird looking names like that. They can also have really ridiculous enchantments like Respiration on a Bow, or Feather Falling on a Sword. They can also have these names like Unidentified, Lore, Magical, Rare, etc. underneath their names. Right. So, you can find them in chests, or my favorite method of, do, of finding them is to kill some sort of creature. So we have a creeper here, let's kill him. And he drops a bowyer's ox. So that's one of the first ways you can find these items. Another way is by finding these little weird structures. These are called ruins. So if you go to the chest in the center of each ruin, you'll find lots of different items. The amount of items that you find is dependent on the size of it. So this one right here is a is a uh, this is a two this is a five size. So the height of it depend determines what kind of items you get. So the larger it is, the better the items you get. The kind of block that it spawns as is determined by the biome it spawns in. So the ones in the plains back there spawn as a stone brick, and the ones in tundra spawn as snowy ones or as ice. There are other kinds of ruins, like there are towers that are made of lava, glass, and all and sorts of blocks like gold, iron, and lapis. There are also these things called nether huts that also have chests inside them. And they have different items like that. One of the coolest things about this plugin, in my opinion, is the ability to identify items. So I'm about to show you how to identify an item that you find that happens to be unidentified. So we've got an unidentified golden axe here. In order to identify it, you take three books and an eye of ender, put it on a crafting table like so, plop them down, and it gives you an identity tone. You right click with the identity tone, and it'll take the first unidentified item in your inventory and just pop you out an identified item. Those things down at the bottom there that are in purple, the plus 7 speed and minus 5 invisibility, are special things for items. Let's say I want to hit this sheep with my axe. Gives it speed, but makes me invisible. Pretty cool, right? Basically the gist of it is, if it's positive, it affects your enemy. If it's negative, it affects you. If it's on armor, then it if it's positive, it affects you. If it's negative, it affects your enemy. Another cool thing that you can do in order to get those sockets is by socketing an item. In order to do so, you have to find an item with socket in the name, in the lower down there. And you have to find a socket enhancement that matches the color of that socket. So if you take them and put the socket enhancement in the bottom of the furnace, you take the item with the socket and put it in the top of the furnace, it will set it on fire and burn it. After it burns, it will create a new item. And that item will have sockets. So this mage killer's light has plus two fire and plus five leech. So basically if I go and hit this chicken, it will set him on fire and give me his health. If I go hit this sheep over here, set him on fire and give me his health. Set him on fire and give me some health. Set him on fire and give me some of his health. Alright. 
uh, I think that actually just about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.